Hey guys, welcome into another testing video. Uh, we're currently testing my mixed AMD rig on Flux. So there's been a lot of updates with Flux and now you can get a lot more hash rate on AMD cards, specifically the 6000 series ones that I'm testing here. Um, so I'll just bring this document over. So previously these were my results, the uh, 22.8 mega hash for the 6600 XT. 34.82 for the 6700 XT and 44 for the 6800. Uh, these are my new uh, mega hash results here. Sorry, not mega hash souls uh, results just here. So we've got uh, an increase from 22.8 to 26.4 on the 6600 XT. The 6700 XT is up to 39.2 from 34.8 and the 6800 is up to 52.7 from 44. <coughs> so yeah, I'm actually using Mini Z Minor for all of this um, because it's currently got the best performance uh, and the entire rig with two 6600 XTs three 6700 XTs and one 6800 is doing 223.1 mega hash uh, and the wattage at the wall is 611 but there's a few <coughs> factors here which mean that I can't tell you what the exact power draw of these cards are so one is that it's a mixed rig so I wouldn't be able to uh, divvy up which power was actually being used by which card uh, two it's on a silver rated server power supply so it's already burning a whole heap of extra power that it doesn't need to um, <clears throat> all my other testing is done on 80 plus gold power supplies just because it's a international standard pretty much everyone uses 80 plus gold um, and yeah also I'm in the different city to my rigs so I'm using a uh, Wi-Fi power meter uh, which isn't quite as accurate as a uh, like a normal regular like wall watt meter so yeah I can't tell you exactly what the um, efficiency is of these cards or how much watts they're drawing but I can uh, give you the still the most efficient settings uh, because uh, I tuned it all down in the software uh, like all the uh, clock speeds as low as they could go while still maintaining ha the hash rate and all the millivolt settings as low as they could go uh, stably for those clock speeds. So these are still the most efficient settings, I just can't tell you how much power it's using. Um, but obviously this does give an indication, so 611 at the wall. <coughs> and then I just added these two numbers in as well, so minus 25 is around the system idle for this rig, 25 watts. I think it might actually be a little bit more than that, but uh, as a rough indication so this is then the efficiency number um, 0.365 if you just count the entire rig uh, 0.38 if you subtract the system idle and this one I just chucked in it's it's just times 0.95 so I don't know taken into account about 5% of inefficiency from a silver rated uh, server power supply to a gold rated ATX so it's a more comparable figure uh, we should be expecting I would I would actually guess it's more than this it's more efficient than this uh, 0.4 but I can't say for sure but either way it's more efficient than I, what I was getting before on lol minor <coughs> um, actually yeah put those in but those those were done on lol minor and I'm not going to update this um, this table just yet uh, I'm going to wait until I've done the testing properly, uh, like with a wall meter when I'm at my house and can actually get the wattage properly. Um, but yeah, these are all, sorry, those are all the old settings. So these are all the new settings. Uh, you just have to count across to which GPUs, the one that you're after the settings for. So yeah, the first GPU zero is a 6800. GPUs 1, 2, and 3 are 6700 XTs, and 4 and 5 are 6600 XTs. So you can copy all these settings if you choose to do so. 
and the SOC VDD Max down at the bottom, very important one, brings the total power draw down. <coughs> Alright, you can uh, pause that and check it on high resolution if you need to see those numbers. Uh, and one thing I'll just point out, all these percentages up here where the fan speed isn't showing, but then it does show down here, uh, looks to be, as soon as I update my miner, it should be fixed, because it says fixed issues with Kapow mining and fixed AMD fan display. So that's, yeah, mini Z, there's an update just there. Um, so yeah, that hopefully should be fixed after I just update this. I just didn't want to update it just yet because I uh, just wanted to show that it had been running for six and a half hours stably. Um, had a few issues prior to that, the hash rate like dropping off, uh, I just had to bump up some of the millivolt settings uh, and now it's stable. <coughs> yeah that's pretty much all I got for this video so all the 6000 series cards are now more efficient uh, on Mini Z Miner than they were previously on LOL Miner. Uh, and actually more efficient than they currently are on LOLminer as well. I've done testing on LOLminer um, just to see which one was better because obviously there was an update with LOLminer where they significantly increased the hash rate uh, and hence the efficiency of Flux on 6000 series cards. That's what triggered me to do this video but then I found out that Mini Z Miner actually had added support for 6000 series cards as well so gave that a try and it was actually better. So that's why I've gone with Mini Z. Um, so yeah, ignore these settings here. These are the old ones that I was using on LOL Miner. Uh, these are the new hash rates. And <coughs> yeah, these are the new hash rates here. These are all the new settings here. Uh, that's pretty much all I got for this video. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. And have a great day. See ya.